Okay, in this video, I wanted to go through and show you what task magic is and just explain how it all works. So basically, task magic is an automation tool similar to Zapier and Integromat or Make, as it's known as now, um, and Pabli. So basically, there's, there's a difference with, with task magic to the others, and that is that they also have a browser automation tool um, to basically do anything that a human would do. So the clicking, typing, copying and pasting that you could get a VA to do, you can actually automate using the browser automation. So basically, there, there's two different options inside of Task Magic. So there's the browser tool, and then there is also the standard apps builder um, automation tool as well. So depending on which way you like to build things, or if the app builder doesn't have the options that you need, you can use the browser automation to complete your build. So basically it's going to simplify all of your tasks. So if you're not um, a really techie person, then this could be a really good option for you once you get the hang of it. So I just wanted to go through and just show you sort of what it is. So um, I'll show you my screen in a minute just so you can get a real feel for it. But I quickly wanted to show you the pricing as well and explain that. So if we jump over here to the pricing, the reason I switched across is because I wanted to have a one-time fee um, automation software because using Zapier was getting very expensive. So for instance, this is unlimited. Whereas with Zapier, if you wanted to have like 50,000 tasks running per month, which for a business isn't unheard of. Um, it's about $350 to $400 per month to run that. Whereas this can do the same thing for $499 as a one-time fee. So to me, it was a no-brainer to jump across to Task Magic because it's going to save a lot of money in the long run. Now, with this desktop version, this means that your computer needs to be on in order to run the automations. Whereas this desktop and cloud means that um, your computer doesn't have to be on when your computer's not on, the cloud automation will take over. So um, it can run in the background when you're not using your computer as well. So mine's fine because if my computer's not on, it'll just run whenever the computer is on next. So it's no problem to me at all doing it that way. So I'm just going to jump in to show you quickly. This is what a automation um, build in Task Magic looks like. So it's the same as you would with any other automation tool. So this is the app builder. So you just select your trigger and then your actions after that. So if you wanted to have your trigger as like a Google form, you would just fill in what your trigger is going to be, a new response, add all your connection details, etc., and then move on to your action that you want it to complete. Whereas if you wanted to use the browser automation, you need to open the automation up in this actual app here. And then you would click new automation, go to this web one here, and then you need to um, actually watch this and have a cookie um, app saved to your browser. So basically what this app does is it saves your login details so that you don't have to do your login details and the two-factor of authentication each time. It'll remember that information. Um, so once you do that, then you click yes, I am, and then you can paste in that cookie there. Um, and then you can start recording your screen. So basically once you do that, this is what it looks like. And it'll start recording everywhere you go on here and everything that you click. So basically you're going to say, okay, this is the website I want to go to. Just type it in, save and go to URL. And then you're going to save the next step and the next step and just keep doing it through that whole process until you say I'm done and out you go and you're finished. So that's basically how you go through the browser recording one. So there is a few things to learn about it. So in future videos, I am going to go through and do a bit of a how to for both the apps builder and for this browser automation. But I just wanted to give a general overview in this video so that you knew how it worked. Now I will leave my link below for Task Magic if you wanted to check it out, or if you have any questions, please just let me know.